hello friends in this video i'm going to discuss enzyme catalysis and the michaelis minton equation so this is the topic of the homogeneous catalysis okay so michaelis minton equation is of enzyme catalysis which itself is the part of homogeneous catalysis so it was first discovered by michaelis and miss mort in 19 in 1913 and they were biochemist and they, they discovered it for the catalysis of enzyme okay and according to the equation proposed by them we need to consider a reaction okay equilibrium reaction which can be written in following ways So this is the equation that was proposed by Michaelis and Menten in 1913 for enzyme catalysis. So you can see E is enzyme and S is substrate. Then we have this equilibrium reaction K2. That is the uh, reversible reaction. Okay, K2 it forms ES, which is a complex enzyme substrate complex. Complex and this complex uh, through rate constant K2 it gives enzyme and the product so you can see that in overall this reaction after the formation of uh, the product to the starting from the starting to the formation of product we will we see that the enzyme in this overall process is conserved so the and this step is the slow determinant step. here we have two steps this is the first step and this one is the second step we have this two step two step reaction so and this first step is a slow money uh, it is a red determining step so we can write the red can be written decrease in the concentration of substrate is equal to increase in concentration of product and which can be written from here we can write k2 concentration of enzyme sus enzyme substrate complex <laughs> so the rate of decrease in substrate is equal to the rate of increase in product which can be written as k2 concentration of es from this equation from this step 2 equation we can get k2 es for the uh, for the change in the product concentration so now uh, you see here that concentration of the enzyme is very very less as compared to concentration of the substrate because enzyme cannot be more than the substrate so obviously the concentration of enzyme should be very very less than that of the substrate which is the main reactant okay enzyme is just here acting as a catalyst as we know that any catalyst during the chemical process does not undergo any change to itself so same thing can be seen here that enzyme which we use in the first step does not change in the second step that means it remains uh, as it is we can get back the enzyme in the second step also so the concentration of enzyme is very very less than concentration of the substrate which also implies that the concentration of enzyme substrate complex is obviously very very less than the concentration of the substrate then we have to know in the physical chemistry chemical kinetics we are often um, we come out with problems such as the uh, and elementary problems to solve the elementary chemical reactions and for this elementary or we can say it like consecutive chemical reactions and for this we use the steady state steady state approximation steady state approximation so a steady state approximation the basic thing about the steady state approximation is that it is used to um, calculate the rate reaction of the intermediate of any intermediate okay and according to this approximation what we are going to see is that rate of rate of formation let us consider rate of formation is equal to rate of decomposition 
rate of formation is equal to rate of decomposition so rate of formation rf is equal to rate of decomposition rd or you can also write rf minus rd is equal to zero so now we are going to apply this steady state approximation for this enzyme substrate complex es so we can write like the change in the rate of enzyme substrate complex is equal to its rate of formation minus rate of decomposition that is equal to zero so now uh, if we see the rate of formation of the this complex enzyme substrate complex then from the step one we can see that it is we can write here k1 k1 concentration of then we will uh, have to write this reactant enzyme and concentration of substrate and so um, again minus for reverse reaction we can see that es through red constant k minus 1 gives the reactant that is the re for the reverse reaction so we have to write here k2 or k inverse uh, and then es concentration of es so this is the overall rate of formation for the enzyme substrate complex so now what is the rate of decomposition rate of decomposition we can write we can see from the equation number two rate, rate of decomposition that is k2 k2 es so we can write rd is equal to k2 es now we can give here equation number okay i will write here this one is yes, equation number one okay and then now we can write um this one as equation number two and this is as equation number th three okay so these two three if we put in this equation then what we are going to get is that concentration of es rate of change in concentration of es is equal to rate of formation minus rate of decomposition which we have got rf is equal to this one and rd is equal to this one so we will put here so we are going to get k1 concentration of e concentration of s minus k inverse concentration of es then uh, since it is minus so it will be minus here so minus uh, k2 concentration of es and this is equal to zero since here we know that rf minus rd the rate of decomposition uh, rate of formation minus the rate of decomposition is equal to zero so ultimately we have to write here uh, this is quantity is equal to zero so that is all about the change in the concentration of es the enzyme and substrate complex so it is the uh, so now here we can put equation number four this one two we can put as equation number four so now next what we are going to do is that the concentration of e the concentration of this enzyme as we know it is very very less as compared to the concentration of substrate from this we can get that concentration of e enzyme is very very less than the concentration of the substrate um, and this also implies enzyme substrate concentration is also very very less than the concentration of substrate so now what we are going to do so it means that the concentration of e cannot be determined it cannot be determined now why it cannot be determined because the concentration of e is very very less i mean it's very less as compared to the concentration of substrate so it is in very less quantity so it cannot be determined easily uh, so what we are going to do we will use the conser uh, conservation of enzyme okay there is one equation for conservation of enzyme so we can write here e concentration of e naught is equal to concentration of e that means enzyme plus concentration of e s okay so this equation is known as equation of uh, conservation of enzyme okay that is known as conservation of conservation of enzyme 
So E naught initially what we can write initial concentration of this enzyme can be written as E plus E naught S. So that is known as conservation of enzyme. So from here we can also write that uh, concentration of E is nothing but it is just like E naught minus concentration of E S. This may be put as equation number five. So now what we are going to do is we will put this value of E in equation number one uh, this one four so if we put the equation number below of e in equation number four in this equation here you can see concentration of e this value of e we will put here so we are going to get d concentration of e s by dt is equal to k1 and we will see that this value is how much uh, concentration of E naught minus concentration of E S um, and this is our substrate concentration minus K inverse K minus 1 concentration of E S minus K2 concentration of E S is equal to 0 is equal to 0 okay so now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to rewrite it as that means uh, k1 concentration of e not concentration of s we will just multiply now okay this one multiply then minus uh, k1 concentration of e s and this concentration of s just multiply this quantity and minus k minus 1 concentration of es minus k2 concentration of es is equal to 0 we can write in this way so now from this equation we will also write in this um, this can also be written as k1 e naught s minus k1 or we can make it equal okay equal to this three these terms will go towards right hand side so equal to we can write concentration of es concentration of substrate and plus k minus one concentration of es plus k2 we can write es okay these three terms we have put uh, in the right hand side these negative terms and this is on the left hand side so uh, now we will take es common okay you can see that es can be taken common from these three terms so we will take es common So our equation was like um, we can write uh, we can write it um, what was that equation okay, okay. k1 k1 e naught s that is equal to we have um, k1 then es concentration of es concentration of substrate plus k minus 1 concentration of es plus k2 concentration of es so we will take es common from this three terms which are on the right hand side so if we take common es common then we are going to get k1 plus k minus o 
here we have uh, concentration of s okay this one yes if we take common then here k1 concentration of s will be remaining so here it will be concentration of s and k minus 1 and plus we have k2 this so this implies that es concentration of es is equal to this term is present now will be in the uh, denominator of the left hand side quantity so k1 e not s which is divided by this term okay k1 and this is concentration of substrate plus k minus 1 plus k2 so this can be put as equation number six so now what uh, we are going to do this value of es we will put in our earlier equation of Michaelis maintain this one uh, the rate as we know the rate is equal to the change in I mean the decrease in the concentration of substrate is equal to uh, D decrease increase in concentration of product is equal to K to ES so in this equation we are going to put the value of ES okay and here we can see that there is a K2 so that means we know that red is equal to minus D concentration of S DT is equal to D concentration of P DT that is equal to K2 concentration of ES so that was our equation one so in this equation one we are going to put this equation number six the value of es is to be put here okay so what we are going to see red is equal to k1 oh here we can see k2 no k2 into uh, now es value is this one this old term are es value so k1 e naught concentration of substrate by k1 s plus k inverse plus k2 so we have put now now what we are going to do this is equation number seven okay now what we are going to do is that we are going to divide the uh, numerator and the denominator by k1 okay dividing dividing numerator and denominator by k1 so this is numerator and this is it denominator so this will be divided by k1 so what we are going to get red is equal to k2 will be as it is so if it is divided by k1 so ultimately here it will be one only so it is k2 concentration of uh, this one e naught and then the substrate so by now here also in denominator if we divide by k1 so you are going to get here uh, only this will be left okay so concentration of s will be left in case of denominator if we divide by k1 here if we divide it by k1 so again this will be divided by k1 so put this uh, k minus 1 plus k minus 2 is divided by k1 so we can write k minus 1 plus k2 was by k1 okay so finally what we are going to see red is equal to k2 e naught s and then here concentration of s and plus we have this may be written in km okay where km is nothing but k minus 1 plus k2 divided by k1 okay that is the km and this quantity km this quantity is known as Michaelis constant this is known as Michaelis constant and this equation number 8 which we can write equation number 8 this equation is what we call Michaelis maintain equation so this is how we are going to derive the michaelis maintain equation so in michaelis maintain equation we will see that red is equal to k2 and e concentration of e naught and concentration of s concentration of n concentration of 
the subset s plus km and this km is nothing but a Michaelis Menten equation and uh, we have to note one thing that this e naught e naught comes from the earlier as we have seen that e naught comes from this conservation of enzyme okay since e is very small as compared to the substrate so what we cannot do is that we cannot determine the concentration of the enzyme so the equilibrium state of the equilibrium um, value for this e naught i mean the equilibrium value for the concentration of this enzyme can be written as this one e naught is equal to concentration of e plus concentration of es so this is nothing but this is the equilibrium equation so this equation is nothing but the equilibrium equation of concentration of e in the overall reaction so here uh, there is the michaelis menten equation as we have seen from equation number eight uh, this one now this equation is what the michaelis menten equation is and km is the michaelis constant so once again we can see that it's an enzyme catalysis so uh, this is the rate of the reaction that we need to consider so rate is equal to this that means decrease in the substrate and increase in the product is equal to k2es concentration of es then we will see this one concentration of e is very very less than s which is equal to uh, which implies concentration of es is very very less than concentration of s and we, then we will use the steady state approximation and this steady state, steady state approximation is very essential in the chemical kinetics okay everywhere it will be used in chemical kinetics so mainly it is used to, to determine the uh, kinetics of the intermediate that is formed during the chemical reactions so the rate of formation is equal to the rate of decomposition this is the basic concept of the steady state approximation the steady state approximation underlies on the fact that the rate of formation is equal to the rate of decomposition by this way if uh, in, if in this process there may be some other intermediate would, may, might have been there so if that intermediate is there then also for that intermediate we can find out the the uh, by applying the steady state approximation we will equate it in this manner okay that concentration of that intermediate is equal to rate of the intermediate uh, formation of that intermediate minus the rate of decomposition of that intermediate and it has to be set to zero and the rate of formation you will see from the equation itself okay the rate of formation k1 concentration of these reactants then for inverse process it is uh, we have seen that minus k inverse es okay for inverse process we have concentration of uh, k minus one concentration of this es that is for inverse process and the rate of decomposition we can see during the formation of the product that how uh, the product is formed via this one okay in this reaction so k2 minus es minus uh, this one where k2 es okay and then ultimately we are going to solve it in this way okay so this is the overall michaelis maintain equation hope you guys like it thank you